Hello everybody, it's me Tracy here to show y'all how to do that do that glass cup that y'all seem to like and request it. Here's here's two of them. Here's this one, the blue one, and then there's the yellow one. So this is what we're gonna be making today. So I got the glass here. And I got a zipper and I got gems. We're using purple today. So I'm gonna do this little quick video. So here's the zipper. I'm gonna cut this part off. And then I'm gonna take the whole zipper apart. Take it apart. So I like to cut some of this trimming trim some of this off because you don't want too much of that on there because it makes it look bulky so you don't want to take it off so i like to say thank y'all for finding my youtube channel thanks for liking my stuff please take some time out and subscribe to my channel the facebook group is crafting together as one and um come hang out with us we have a lot of fun in our group So I'm just cutting, cutting some of the trimming off so it won't be showing so much when you um put the glitter on. So you can cut as thin as thin as you want. Just leave enough to put some some glue on there. That's uh some of the freeze. That's one. Let me do this one. So how everybody doing? I've been answering everybody's questions on YouTube and trying to keep up with the Facebook group crafting together this one. I just got off work, so I'm gonna do this one. Real quick, a little quickie for y'all. And that's it. So, like I said, these it's scissors. I mean, um, zippers. You can get the zippers from Amazon. You can get like a whole bag of them. Very cheap. So, I'm going to measure where I put it at. And I'm going to add a little bit of... I won't put it yet. All my little pieces is fraying off all too fast. So let's start here. So I'm going to figure out where I want to put it first in the back of the glass. And then I'll go from there. And here's the other one. put that next to it I'm gonna bring it down some because I want to put some pearls on top of it so I'm gonna bring it down so and this just to help me figure out where I want to place it once I put the glue on there hey check out check out the um Facebook group, Crafting Together is one. When I tell you these ladies are the bomb, they the bomb. They done took that little, little diva that I made and turned it into some real portrait stuff going on here. Make sure it did. So, see how I got that so far? Make sure y'all can see. I taped it in the back so I can know where I want to put it. And they don't want to stay. I'm gonna put some glue on it after after a while, but this tape act like it don't want to stay. All right, there you go. And basically, I'm gonna bring the zipper to where I want it, right there. 
and then I'm going to cut it off. So that's where I want to take this little piece and put it inside and make sure it don't get lost. All right, let's take all this tape off. Anyway, so much strength. That's the only thing about when you cut the scissors, the strength of this. All right, so I'm gonna take some E6000, just a whole, hold it on there. Don't be afraid of the E6000. I'm just going to put some on my finger and just rub it down the side here. I'm just rubbing some E6000 down, down it so that it can stick. It'll stay where I want to put it. So I'll use my finger and put a little bit on there. To keep it there. You can get a washcloth or something. Wipe your fingers on. I don't like the way that glue feels on my finger. So I'm gonna go here and bring it down some. And then I'm gonna bring it. too low but I might want to put a name on it so that's going to stick if it don't stick add some more hey I got some glue in my thing let's get over there hey, if it don't stick this add some more so I'm going to do the same with the other one some glue on it with my finger just rubbing some glue on it it is 6,000 because it's a sticky glue I kind of like that but make sure you put it down in the right place because you don't want to get glue all over your glass This one. I'm gonna put it right here. Right here, real close to the other one. And I'm gonna bring it. And so it's too low. So I need to bring it up because I need my pieces to match. Bring it up is okay. It's bringing it back down and sliding that glue. It's not cool. By the time this dry, it should not come apart. And if you get a little bit, if you do get a little bit on the top, don't worry about that because you're going to get some bees some bees on it anyway all right so that's about to stick and put the top back on this nasty glue all right so the next part is mod podge i'm going to take some mod podge here i got me a pan with some paper in it so that's where i'm going to um sprinkle my glitter because I don't want the glitter to be all over the house so like I said we're using purple today mm. 
Mm, this glue, I don't like all this glue on my finger. All right, so let's start the Mod Podge. We're gonna Mod Podge, even though it's glue on the glass, don't worry about that. Nobody won't see it. It's gonna go under here. We're gonna start, and we're gonna bring that Mod Podge all the way up to that rim with it on there. And and you don't have to worry about not using enough. It all depends on what color glitter you use. Like this yellow one, I use a lot of glitter because yellow is it's very thin so and you can see through it but it will dry clear so this is my podge it will dry clear so i'm just gonna spread this all around here a nice coat not too not too thin make sure you get it on the on that zipper fabric part Paper. If you get glue in your paper, get another paper uh, standby because you don't want to have your glitter getting stuck because you want to use it over. So, this is not something I came up with on my own. I was browsing some pictures, and I looked at a picture, and I said, oh, that's, that's really nice. Besides, I did a, a cup one already before, anyway. So, I'm going to turn that over. I'm going to start sprinkling the pretty glitter. And it's purple, so we shouldn't even leave but one coat. The fan is blowing. Let me turn this fan off, because it's blowing my glitter. See how nice thick this this looks it's a nice give it a nice coating so you might not even need two and three coatings sometimes depending on the darker the glitter is the less glitter you have to use which i like so hopefully this only need one layer because that way i don't have to um do too much again but you gotta look under the light once it's done because i can see some light spots on it already see it Somewhere down the bottom got a few light spots. I don't want light spots. Don't worry about that. You're going to take a dry brush and go over it and try to clean it up. Some of that part is supposed to be white. I got glitter got in there. That's the clean, clean brush. That you can use and brush the glitter off. That side don't seem to want to come off. All right, let's get to the next part. Put my hand in here. Put some more on. Um, we're gonna do the base now. Hey, I got glue in there. No. So it might seem like I'm rushing this, but I had a long freaking night and I'm real tired. And I'm gonna get to sleep. So I'm gonna put this out and do this now. So I don't have to worry about it later. Let me get another piece of paper because I don't want no glue in, no glue in there. I don't want to So, see how nice it's looking? We're going to do the base now. Let me just push them all down there. 
You don't have to worry about really how much you put in it because it will dry clear. Yeah, it will dry clear. All right, I think that's enough. Let's play in some glitter, y'all. Okay, let me get my hand out of this thing. So, so the darker the glitter, the better when it comes to the coverage. She so don't need to use that much. And I must have bumped it because I don't knock out a big hole in the back. Look at that. So I'm going to go over that. And some light spots that I can see. Because you can see the light spots when you're doing this glitter. Now you can look at it and see if it needs some touch up or if you got too much glue in one spot, you just rub it with the brush and it'll flatten it back out. And then I can spray it with the Mod Podge Silver, but I don't know about washing it after you spray it. So I might take the blue one and Try some resin on it, see how that work out. Tap it with your finger for some spots that's missing. All right. So it's looking pretty good for this first, for, for the most part. You can see, like right here, this part is a little chunky. Just flatten it down with your finger. Because you don't want no chunky spots. Keep it even as possible. And add some more glitter. Put this back in here. Now you see, I didn't use that much. spots so when you, if you can still see the glass through it just tap it and add some more but you don't have to worry about that base too much because when you put the tool on there you won't see it all right so so far the, the cup is finished finished hey let me get these fat hands out of there <sighs> Trying to get some of this. I'm going to use a, a clean brush 
and clean it up. I want to get this off of here. But it's on it because it must have got some. It comes off good on this one. It don't come off good here. Alright, that part is done. It needs to dry. Alright, so while they're drying, let me turn the fan on now I'm hot. Look at this one. So you don't have to wait till it completely dry to work on it. Just don't touch it too much. So I'm using my wax pen with the wax tip on it. You just rub it a little bit to make sure the, the wax is still, it's still gonna pick it up. So, and then I got all these Flat, flat, um, is it flat, flat something? Yeah, there they go. Flat pearls. That's what they look like. They're flat pearls. So now I'm using a V7000 because I like V7000 because it has that nice tip on it that can keep the glue in the right place so gonna start here right at the I add some glue all along here and then we're gonna use these and pick them up and put them where you want can y'all see that just I'm tapping it Putting it on top of that glue, making sure I got enough glue on there. I don't want it to fall off. So I would consider this like a, like a uh, keepsake for, like to put in your house. Not so much, maybe for drinking out of, because they probably get messed up. If you're going to drink out of it, then try to wash it. You don't, you know, it's better. So you just take your time and put these pieces on here. And this part don't take long. That's the easy part. As long as you got this tool, you can pick it up. As long as you got the wax pen. Look how that's looking, y'all. It's pretty. We just need to put enough, enough to take it all the way around. Let's get some more B. Look at that. Hey, if you got fat hands like mine, don't get it stuck in the glass. <laughs> First thing, nobody here to help you get it out. Let's do some tapping. Where I want to put all of these bees at. And this don't take long. Just put it on here. One by one. And you can use whatever you want. You want to use diamonds. You can just. These are like the sliced pearls. The ones that's cut in half. Just take your wax pen and just tap it and pick it up. And you don't have to wait till it dry to do this part because you're gonna let you have to let this dry for some time. Alright, see how it's looking so far? Very nice. Oh. 
So when I finish this for y'all, I'm going to bed. Because I did three twelves in a row. And I'm tired. Tired. Grandbaby birthday today. She probably, she turned one. So she probably come see grandma later. Yeah, go out and get her some balloons or something. I don't know. So basically I'm just putting it, just putting it around. One by one by one. If y'all have any suggestions on which y'all want me to try, because pretty much, I think I can do pretty much anything. I can look at a picture and do it. Don't know where I get that from, but I don't even need directions to put IKEA furniture together because IKEA, people pay to get their furniture put together because they make it so complicated. But it's not really complicated. It's kind of easy. So a little more tapping. And I'm pretty much done with that. And then I'll show y'all how to make the ruffles for the bottom. So how everybody doing? I guess the ones in the crafting group, y'all the bomb now with them divas. Y'all done diva me out. Y'all done diva diva so much that I don't even want to make no more diva. Few more and this is done. Then we're gonna go to the tool. Make sure y'all get some tool. You can get any color you like to go with your theme. I know by the time I wake up, somebody gonna do this and send me a picture, right? And if people in the group says that they happy to be in the group and I have helped them and you know and I, I'm happy about that all right last pearl come on now flip over I don't want to flip over so these pearls came from Michael's they come in a, a little box and you get the whole bag look like that you got all the colors so this is the pearl pearl color all right get the hand out all right that part is pretty much done i just got to clean this glass you can see the glue inside is drying up already a little bit let me put my wax pen up because you don't want to leave your wax pen out you want to put it back in the case so it won't dry up all right, so I'm going to put this over in front of the air conditioner and we're going to start on the tool and then I'll be going to bed. So I'll leave that over there for a little bit. So here's the tool. I got it from Amazon. So the tool I got from Amazon. I think it was um close to ten dollars a roll. And um the board that I'm using will be about five inches. About five inches, five inches wide. You can use any board. And I'm gonna place it at the bottom and then I'm gonna wrap it around this board.
and I'm going to wrap it 10 times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to do nine. You don't want it too thick. I'm going to do nine, cut it off. I did nine, and I cut it off. I turn the board to the other side, and let me do nine again. Hold it at the bottom. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. Oh, ten. I don't know. I cut it off. These things hold it in place. You gotta get some strain. You can use thread. Turn your hot glue gun on, y'all, and get your hot glue ready. So my hot glue gun is now turned on. And I got me a piece of ribbon string. Right, so I'm gonna take this all, just gather it up, and take it off. So the part on the top, we're not gonna cut that. We're just gonna scrunch it up, do a nice little scrunchy thing like that with the um, tool showing. It's not cut, so we're gonna crunch, leave it like that. It's not cut. I'm gonna take this string while the hot glue is getting together. We're gonna get this together, and it's in front of the air condition, so hopefully. That'll help. See, I got, got it like a little bit nice and even. I'm just going to tie it off and cut it. And then I'm going to take the other one and do the other one too. And we're going to scrunch it. Scrunch it from the middle. We're going to scrunch it from the middle so that the cut part is on top and we're going to tie it off. That cup looking a little pretty over there. So we're going to get under here, find that, that hole in the middle. Let's see if you can get your thumb all the way through it. space all the way in there and it's gonna cut it off. Then I'm gonna don't forget to cut these pieces off right here. And this is a rush job. I mean it's still gonna turn out nice but it's a rush job. You know, if you ain't tired, take your time. Alright, now I'm gonna do the other one. Find the opening and then cut it. My hot glue is should be hot now. Make sure every piece is cut. Put your finger in this one and do the same. And then you want to cut all the way through. It's not going to be completely even. Let's move on to the next spot. This cup is dry enough. It needs to be cleaned off. Clean off that glitter. Clean off all the stuff on it. Everything looks nice and in place. Where's my zipper? Here's my zipper. Can't forget the zipper. Let me put the top back on it. The stuff dripping everywhere. I got my zipper. I'm gonna take some 
glue and put on the back part of the zipper right here. Just a little glue on there. And I'm going to stick it right under here. Hold it for a few seconds and stick it right under there. So it's not actually zipping it. You can try to leave your zipper on, but it was a little inconvenient. So that's hot glue, y'all. I'm gonna leave it flat like this. Add some glue. Add some glue here. Put that down, don't burn your hand. Add some glue here. Take these two pieces together like this. You see them? And we're gonna put it around here and we're gonna hold it until it feels dry. Woo, without sticking your, without burning your finger. All right, so that's stuck on there. Trim it a teeny bit. So now we're gonna start fluffing. Peeling these the one pieces at a time. Oh, oh, just peel the pieces. Fluff it up. Get it where you want it. So, I'm sure I'm making some mistakes, but not really. It's just because I'm rushing. I want to go to bed so I can get up because I don't want to sleep the whole whole day and not be able to you know enjoy myself so you see you just pull it apart and fluff it fluff it pull it apart fluff it fluff it pull it apart and fluff it. it's a whole 20 pieces it's a whole lot of pulling apart and fluffing you're gonna do and you can keep on playing with it until you get that desired look that you like And if some pieces look out of place, just trim it up some. So this will be like a, a gift for one of your friend's birthday. You can do a wine bottle with it and another glass. This space in the middle, you can put the name in it. You know, it's always nice. When you give somebody a personalized gift, it shows that you put a lot of extra thought into it. So you see that? They like it. It just need a little, maybe a little bit trimming of some parts that's too big. Probably need a little extra fluffing. The more you fluff, just fluff. Alright, so this glass is done. Pretty much done. All it needs is a little bit of cleaning up up here. Right here, I see a little shadow of glass coming through there. So I will add a little teeny bit here in these spots. I mean, basically that's it. And maybe like right along under here, I see a little missing. So I'll add some glue. Because I'm, I'm more like a perfection, so I need to make sure everything up the part. Here, it's got a little bit of whiteness under there that I see. So for the most part, if I wasn't washing, it wouldn't be so bad. But I'm going to go back in and finish it. Finish it. Just a few, few teeny touch-ups in, like right here. Right here, if you can see it. I mean, you probably can't see it, but it's just a few. But look at the glass that y'all asked me to do. I hope y'all like it. I hope you subscribe to my channel. And hit me up on my Facebook group, me and Diddy's Facebook group, crafting together as one, and show us your pretty glass. All right, y'all. Holla, y'all. I'm going to bed. Bye.